Hello, and welcome to Getting Started, 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams. Topic 5, XDesign Basics, My Content, and 6W Tags. There are two different ways to access XDesign. One is through a dashboard, and if you've, if you've dragged the XDesign app into your dashboard to use, or you can go to the compass, navigate to XDesign either by searching it or going to 3D Designer, and you can click on XDesign and it'll open by itself. This is a window that is not stationary. Once you close it, it does go away and it doesn't save the most common things you've opened in this window right here because it's opening up by itself. If you're opening XDesign through a dashboard, it does remember what you've previously worked on when you've opened parts inside XDesign. So I'm gonna work in a dashboard once again, I'm just going to go full screen with it so I can see just that. I'm going to click New Component. I'm going to save it to my collaborative space. In this case, I'm going to save it to Team Collab and press OK. Now, as you may notice, this looks very similar to most CAD software you might have already used. On the left-hand side, we have our Design Manager. Right-hand side, we have our Views, as well as Isometric normal to, as, as well as the ability to quickly change the units to whatever we decide. Bottom tab is the command manager, where you have sketch, features, surfaces, assemblies, design guidance, and tools. If we want to create something simple, I can click on the, the top face, open a sketch. I can then click on the rectangle on the bottom, drag a quick little rectangle in, Press escape like you would in any other CAD software to close that function. Click on smart dimension. I could start adding some smart dimensions to these walls. Let's make this one 130. In this case, this bottom one, let's make it 100. Once that's completed, I can exit the sketch or I can go directly to features and click on extrude. Now I'm gonna change my view back to isometric. I'm gonna leave it at 35, but just in case, if you weren't doing extrude, but you actually meant to do a cut, well, if I had a body here, I could actually switch it to a cut. Or if I wanted to switch to revolve or a sweep, it's all right here within the same window. I'm gonna do a blind extrude of 35 millimeters. Press okay. I'm gonna click on this top surface, open another sketch. I'm gonna add a circle in the middle here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to features, extrude, go back to isometric view. And you'll see here, right now I'm doing extrude. In many other CAD softwares, you have to switch. If I messed up and I clicked extrude, but I meant to click cut, doesn't matter. I can actually switch to a cut right here. Change it from blind to through all both ways. Because this is a cloud software, you need to make sure you save your part. There is an auto save function built in, but it's good to save it yourself. You'll see you start saving the component. And also, if we're sharing this in a group, we really need to make sure we close the part. When you're working on desktop CAD software, you don't have to think about closing the part because once you close the software, it closes all the parts. In the cloud, that's not the case. If I were to leave this open here and start working on something else, go to a different tab, jump back to the previous one, it still stays open. If I reload, it'll ask me to open the previous part but if another user wants to open this part, it'll show that I am still using it. So it's important to click on this bottom symbol here called close. Once we're done with our part, we always wanna make sure we close it. This checks it back in so that now another user can work on it. Now, if you wanna to go to navigating to find your parts, what we're gonna use is to find the search menu up top where you click the drop down and go to my content. Inside my content, we're gonna see all the parts that we have created or we have access to. And also it has a who, what, when, where, and why on the left-hand side that allows us to quickly find our parts or search for them depending on what they are. Modify it, date, who's the person that created them, and so on. So if I wanna find just the parts I've worked on, if I click on my name, I'll find only, only the parts that I have worked on or I have added to the platform. If I want to open one of these parts, I can quickly just click and drag it and drop it inside XDesign and it'll actually open that part directly. If we go back up to my content, 
We can also take a look at 6W tags. 6W tags are the who, what, when, where, why. So we're able to click on a part. In this case, we can click on this gear here. And we can type in a tag. Let's add gear to it. Add the tag. And then, if we're looking for parts, we want to look for ones that are specifically tagged to what we decided they are. We can go down and click on the more tags. And we can go down to user tags and click gear. And now we'll see the parts that we have labeled as gear. So this is a great way to label your parts, add tags to them. You can add multiple tags to them if they have multiple different functions. And you're able to quickly find them using these different tags. Thank you for watching and be sure to finish watching all of the Getting Started with 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams videos. Have a great day.